Yugo is the uh, first of its kind web portal of Uganda, uh, which is basically a website, uh, but it's a website that is um, a power website. It's, it's a gateway to Uganda. It's available all information about Uganda with everything regards to online content, from websites, news, uh, events, sports news, radio, flights, anything that you want to find online in regard to Uganda, you find on a, on a portal. Hmm. Boaz is a, a simple person. I'm, I'm considering myself a Ugandan. I've been here for 12 years. And I could have not have done Yugo and could have not come up with Yugo. Yugo has been a project of my life for the last three, four years taken to come up with. And I would have not been able to do it unless I would have been a Ugandan. Having talked to Mr. Boaz and asked him about his profession, this is what he had to say. I've been into IT in Uganda, I've been into marketing in Uganda, I've done it for 12 years. I've been living, breathing, sleeping, Yugo. Uh, Yugo is a project I've been uh, developing within my head, within my dream from the day I've come to Uganda. I've been into internet, into the IT, and it is now three to four years I've been developing this, and finally it has come to life last year. Yugo stands for Uganda Goes Online and the whole idea is that um, Uganda need to have presence online. We have 4 million people using the internet in Uganda but very little websites. For example, sports is a huge thing in Uganda. How many websites about sports? Maybe five. Um, entertainment is a big thing in Uganda. News is a big thing in Uganda. Uh, no content about it. Uh, nothing online. Um, so Yugo is all about telling people, come online, you have a website, update it, uh, put your things. Um, radios, we have a hundred radio stations in Uganda, none of them are online. Some don't even have websites. So Yugo is moving on the ground and telling people and teaching people all for free. Uh, we take the initiative and, and we do it and we tell people, come, be online. It's a must. In today's generation, in today's world, we must be online. The fact is that we have 4 million people using the internet, but very little websites. It's a big gap. Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Flight Captain Mkula, Member of Parliament, Soroti Municipality, and the National Vice Chairman of the National Resistance Movement. I will be with you on UBC, on Double XL. We will be addressing many issues, from aviation, politics, governance, and political integration and the African continent. Do not miss. Now, with the postal address, our SIM cards, phones, and of course registrations, active SIM cards, non-active SIM cards, and con men calling you all the time, why first about the website anyway? A, web, a website is your business card, but there is much more than a website today. Uh, today, if you don't have the money to have a website, you can have a Facebook page. Now, many of us are on Facebook, but our companies are not on Facebook, or they don't allow us to go on Facebook. There is Twitter, there is YouTube, uh, there is um, Google Maps, which is for free. People don't know they can put themselves on the map. You can put your house on the map today, and it's for free. So all of this will give you mileage. So if you do it correctly, just a matter of taking initiative and being online and interact, you will gain business out of it in the end of the day. So, yes, you can start from a website. A website in the end of the day is also not costly. Rather than advertising and make a big hoo-ha and you make a flyer, you put an ad in the papers, but it's only local when you're on the website and you do it correctly, you'll be worldwide. So for all you know, the next big thing will come from Uganda. Web portal is a website, but it's a power website. It's a gateway. It's a gateway to Uganda. So basically, all the information, whatever you look for Uganda, you'll find in a web portal. Uh, the most common web portals that we know in the world is Yahoo. Yahoo is a web portal. Uh, MSN. Uh, I'm sure everyone in Uganda knows Yahoo.co.uk. They know uh, MSN.India, uh, MSN Italy. 
So you'll find all the local information and links to other websites and news and entertainment and uh, sports and scores and flights, radio, anything you'll want, you'll find on Yahoo, on iGoogle, on MSN. Uganda did not have this one. They had uh, a lot of, uh, and they still have, a lot of web directories. But again, you pay, so you'll not find all the information. Web portal is the whole idea that everything is there for free. So one will find everything he wants, regardless if it's tourism, if it's education, if it's a school you're looking, if it's anything to do with business, stock exchange, if it's about sports, if it's scores, if it's flights from the airports, live information. You could today find on Yugo the flight that is landing right now from Nairobi, live, uh, rather than call the airport or not so sure and you're going to collect someone, you'll find it live, a score. Let it be Villa versus URA, you'll find it live online. So either you're in Uganda or not in Uganda, everything is available. The matter is that people don't know how to find it, where to find it, what to do with it. I wake up in the morning, still there isn't any power, the water wasn't heated, I swear I'm not gonna shower, can't use electric shavers or even iron my clothes, I go to office with my shirt full of wrinkles and folds, I got in trouble with my boss, I think it's kinda harsh, I couldn't finish my report, the laptop wouldn't charge, please lord shed these load shedders, I'm confident these incompetence are the reason that they call us the dark continent, power's off more than it, song consumption ain't the same, so please explain why my power bill still hasn't changed, Changed. I am Enigma. Hip hop is my thing. Now, Mr. Boaz and your team of Yugo, how does this benefit the media industry? You can interact once you find the news today when you're online. If when you're not online, um, you read the news and you have a comment to say, but you say it to yourself. When you're online, you read the news of New Vision, you can actually comment. And all the other readers will see your comment. So you start interacting. So you start having a face. And regardless if you want to be known or, or not known, you can interact. So today the biggest talk in town is the internet that is down or umeme that is off and off. Another thing that we say as Hugo is, many companies today is almost a must, or many people, they read New Vision every day, Monitor every day, Red Pepper every day they do not check the online media. Basically what we are saying, there's a small media in the world that is exist. It's called the online media. People do not acknowledge it in Uganda, unfortunately. They know Facebook, but they don't acknowledge the online media. So websites often go off, they don't last long. Um, so that's what we are trying to do. And we are saying, today you read the New Vision, the Monitor and Red Pepper, start reading what they say about you on Facebook. Start check what they say about you on Twitter. What's the latest in LinkedIn? There are groups, people are talking, people are interacting. And you can find Google actually today search into your walls and they find what people are talking. And for a fact, we know it, that Umeme is monitoring five different pages about what people say about them and they handle. MTN, do a lot of customer care through the social media because people are posting and they monitor. So the idea is not just to read those medias, but to read anything to do with media period, not just to stop in a certain point. The same we are saying to radio stations. They, they broadcast live, but they're not online. It's unfortunately, they will get much more mileage. So rather than put a lot of repeaters up in the air and covering all of Uganda, today if Capital Radio will start streaming, I can listen to them everywhere. It doesn't mean if I'm in Gulu, or if I'm in Kenya, or I'm in the States, I'll be able to listen to them. And it's more mileage for them in business because more listeners, more business for them. But more than that, today, and that's the beauty again of the online media. New Vision cannot tell you today, or uh, UBC or NTV, how many viewers they have, for example. With online, I can tell. If you put your show on YouTube, you'll be able to say exactly how many people viewed it, but also how many people liked the show. While I'm on air, I don't know those numbers. If I'm, uh, I'm talking about New Vision, they say we have 20,000 copies we are selling. They don't know how many people read it because every paper on the table is read by five or 10 different people, one copy. With online, I can tell you how many people entered my website, where did they come from, at what time, what did they read, which story, which story did they like, which story did they share, which comment did they put, 
and so on and so on and so on and the time and anything you want and that's the beauty of the online media it's much more accurate so even with the radio you they'll be able to tell their listeners we have a thousand listeners in Uganda but we have another a hundred in the UK we have a hundred and fifty in the States or even in the specific state in the specific village it is that accurate so that's the beauty of online media What is Hugo after? Hugo is after traffic. If everyone will find everything they want on Hugo, they'll get traffic. The more traffic I get, you, the one that is on Hugo, let it be a link, let it be a story, let it be an event, anything on Hugo, now you get people to see your business. Let it be a logo, let it be information, and so on and so on. So if I will be able to come to my people, to the advertisers, and tell them I have 100,000 pages a day, 10,000 pages a day. It is numbers. Now you can get people to advertise. In the end of the day, Hugo has not invented the wheel. Facebook is for free. YouTube is for free. Yahoo is for free. Google is for free. You can search, it doesn't cost you. I've presented once to Sanyo, I've urged them, be online. So they ask me, but until when Hugo will be for free? I've asked them the same question. Until when listening to Sanyo Radio will be for free? You see, the idea is people always want things for money. And we are trying to change the concept in Uganda. We are trying to say, do things for free. Work hard, the money will come. But show people that you can do the work. So Yugo is that concept. It is there, it is for free, it will promote everyone. It will educate, it will assist, it will support, it will sponsor. It will do everything it can to get Uganda to be better online. Because our neighbors, unfortunately, are already there. Kenya is there. In, in, they've jumped. There used to be 5 million users online. It was advertised in December, there are now 10 million people online. Uganda just jumped from 3.2 to 4.3. So the numbers are still slow. So we really want to be proudly Ugandan and tell, let's come online, let's do it. You see, um, Facebook went to, to be public. So there was a lot of tweets about them, a lot of discussion. How do they translate 100, 850 million uh, users into money and it is translated you see if you have a business if you have so and so amount of customers your business value for more yes it might not be worth money but it is translated to business and the more readership new vision will have the more you want to advertise so in the end of the day Hugo is aiming to be the best website in Uganda and once we will translate it into the traffic and we show and present to our advertisers it will translate it to money